This is Luis Sandoval, Ray Bradley. First of all, talk to me about this fight. Your son, tough assignment again. What are your overall thoughts when you got this fight presented to you? Oh, we got this fight presented to us. We're saying, you know what? This is the best guy to go against. You know, he's coming out of a controversy, but uh, he's a hell of a fighter. And uh, he, he, he'll be the person who can uh, showcase, you know, um, your skills. What concerns you the most about him? He's considered a, a hard puncher, but we saw what he did in the Brandon Reels fight. He was, used a lot of dirty tactics and whatnot. What concerns you the most when you think of Diego Chavez? Great fighter, good fighter, and uh, it's going to be a good fight December 13th. No, don't miss out. Is it like the Ruzan Provodnikov fight? What, what, what were your thoughts on that Ruzan fight? Because, you know, I, I talked to Joel, and of course, Tim didn't follow the game plan, but it pays so many dividends for him because now people think he's an action fighter. He thinks he, he's great. He got a great reputation off that fight. Of that fight is like, what the hell you doing? And then, now, I'm like, you know what? Everything happens for a reason. Are you excited for this year apart from your son? I know your son is obviously the main attraction in your life, but is there any exciting fights that you're eyeing? I'm, I'm eyeing this fight that the uh, co-main event. Yeah, yeah. Who's your favorite in that fight? Shit, it's, up, it's in the air. It's in the air. I like both guys. And uh, however, it took him a, a, a long, hard road to get to where he at now. And what I know what he thinking in his mind is that, hey, this is a young cat. You know, I'm even going to work even twice as hard to keep what I got. And to stay where I'm at. So, you know what? It's going to be a hell of a fight. What are your overall thoughts on, on the game of boxing? As far as, like, I know you think Tim is one of the top guys, but how, how, who are your top guys right now in boxing as far as skill and, and, and leading the pack? Man, I got Andre Ward. I got the Darrell brothers. You know, believe it or not. They even got the old dog. What's his name? Andre Berto. He's coming back. He's coming back. He's a true dog. Talk to me about Tim. He has this mentality. And I have to assume he got it from you because he's very tough. He's very dedicated to what he does. How did you mold him into the fighter? Because I have to think a lot of that has to do with how you raised him. Man, the thing is, what I told him, whatever you do, you got to work to get. If a man can't work, he can't eat. It's as simple as that. It's in the bite. Do you see, how, how involved are you now? I know Joel's is the head trainer, but how involved are you in Tim? I know you're there in camp, but how involved are you in, in the day-to-day -day operations? I'm like one of the rocks. Got to be there. And to, talk, talk, so, I noticed you didn't mention Floyd Mayweather, one of the top names. Do, do you still think he's there? I know Manny Packer, you just fought him. What are your thoughts on overall them? Do you think they're still the best in the sport? Well, you know, I'm old, man. You know, I leave things out. But you know, <laughs> money, money is going to always be there on the top. You know, money is money. What were your thoughts just on the, on, the, on the Pacquiao fight he had? Tim won the first one. The second one didn't go as well. Were you still happy with what he was able to do in there? I am. I was surprised. I was shocked. I was overwhelmed that he went 10 rounds on one leg. Now, who you know in the world as a fighter or as an athlete will go 10 rounds on one leg. He simply could have told the ref that he had an injury and they would have stopped the fight and that would have been justified, but that's not of Tim Bradley. He has a big heart. That's not his style. It ain't about the heart. He don't push it out for nobody. That's just the way it is. He told you in the past and he'll tell you right now. He'd rather die in the ring. And as a father, guess what? That's what he loved to do, that sport. So I have to respect what he want. Is there any fighters that you want your son to fight? Is there anyone there like you want? You know what, son? I want you to fight that guy. Because I know you can give him a hell of a fight. It don't matter who he fight. He gonna get everybody a hell of a fight. And he gonna come out on top. What are, you what are your thoughts on the Pacquiao-Algeri fight? You, you, you've seen Pacquiao fight your son twice now. What do you think his chances are against Algeri? Everybody kind of has a different opinion. Some people think it's a tough fight for Pacquiao. Some people don't. Well, what's your opinion? You know what? I'm looking at it. Every fight is tough. As long as, as, long as a, a man got two hands, anything is possible. So you just can't shut Algeria down. But I tell you what, once a man is figuring him out, guess what? It's a wrap. <laughs> and any, last thought, any last thoughts? Or what do you want to tell the fans? What are they going to see from your son? Explosive. Um, 
fast hands and intelligence. December 13th. Tim Bradley really idolizes Floyd Mayweather. Who do you think Floyd Mayweather should fight next? I think he should fight Tim Bradley. Yeah, he should fight Tim Bradley. Ooh, Lord. I see it when, it, when it's made. Who do you think would be a tougher fight for, for Bradley, Tim or Pacquiao? Style wise. With, with, with who? If, if Tim fought uh, Pacquiao. Um, if he fought Floyd. Who do you think would be a, a tougher assignment for him? Would it be have been Pacquiao, or do you think Floyd's a tougher assignment than, than Pacquiao for Tim? No, Tim already know Pacquiao. So he, he know how to make his adjustments. You know, like I say, with the injury, he did what he did to make it an exciting fight. You know, that's Tim Bradley. Tim Bradley's crazy. I tell that for a fact, I'm crazy myself. <laughs> Thank you so much for the interview.